from the First Alert Weather Team. All right, after some uh, chillier temperatures early in the week, we really started to see the temperatures soar this afternoon. Even this morning, we started off at 46 degrees in Wilmington, but a high of 79 this afternoon. And now we've turned the corner. We will see highs in the low 80s, it looks like, for the next couple days, maybe even to mid 80s potentially for highs as we head towards Monday. But you don't want to get used to the warmer temperatures because look what's going to happen here as we head uh, into next week, especially once we get past Monday. A very strong cold front's going to carve its way out of the area. And this uh, new trough that's developed Developing really means business. It's going to be a lot stronger even than the one that we saw last week, and that's going to lead to several days with high temperatures in the 60s and overnight lows. Even here in Wilmington, especially by Thursday morning, could dip down into the lower 40s. And with a trough this strong, got to tell you, some outlying areas may even have the potential to drop into the 30s. Of course, it's going to retreat here as we head into the latter part of next week. And in fact, by next weekend, it looks like milder temperatures will be back on the board across much of the eastern United States. Of course, what we don't want to see is an area of low pressure out here in the western Atlantic. Hopefully that won't happen, but uh, we are still technically in hurricane season until November 30th. All right, for the rest uh, for the next few days, look at that 44 degrees by the time we head towards Wednesday morning here in Wilmington. That's the next batch of cold air. The coldest morning is likely to be Thursday morning, 41 degrees. Look at inland areas. Yeah, we're actually forecasting temperatures to drop down into the upper 30s. And even the beaches could even see start off temperatures in the lower 40s as we head towards uh, your uh, towards your Thursday morning. All right, for tonight, not quite as cool. We'll, we'll go about 10 degrees warmer than that. In fact, for tonight, <coughs> excuse me, mostly clear skies, a low of 53 degrees, <coughs> excuse me. And then tomorrow, sunny skies, a high of 81 degrees, southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, satellite radar composite quiet across the area. Once again, high pressure is firmly in control of our weather and will remain so it looks like for the rest of the week. And in fact, with high pressure sliding offshore, we're actually going to see temperatures. Uh, th that's what's going to allow for southwest wind and those temperatures to warm back up. But a very nice evening, 58 Wilmington, 57 Whiteville, 56 in Lumberton. Hour by hour forecast model showing the temperatures again in the uh, 50s as you wake up tomorrow morning. And there you go. You can see some 80s on tap as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. And temperatures should get uh, even warmer than that, likely, as we head towards Monday afternoon. You can see the highs once again cracking into the 80s. All right, in the tropics, things getting much quieter. There's really only one system right now in the tropical Atlantic, and it's a system that moved off the African coastline a couple of days, what we're calling Invest 94L. Look at that. It has not done very well today. Now only a low chance of development. So a little bit of a quiet period, which we desperately need in the tropical Atlantic. 84 after a high of 81 for tomorrow on Monday. And then the temperatures come crashing down as that cold front moves through. By Wednesday, we're talking highs only in the mid 60s and lower 40s as we head towards Thursday morning. And then a big warm up as we head towards next weekend. The superintendent of Buncombe County 